Princess Kate paid a heartfelt tribute to King Charles while making a conscious effort to maintain a low profile during the celebrations for his birthday, according to a body language expert. This occasion marked her first public appearance since her shocking cancer diagnosis earlier this year, which had led her to temporarily step down from her royal duties to focus on treatment. With Kensington Palace providing limited updates on her condition, fans have been eagerly awaiting news of her recovery. Today, fans lined the mall, eager to catch a glimpse of the princess. Earlier this week, Kate had announced her intention to attend the Trooping the Color Parade, a historic event celebrating the king's birthday. Her presence at this significant occasion was highly anticipated, given the rarity of her public appearances since her diagnosis. Aware of the attention her presence would draw, Kate made a concerted effort to minimize her visibility on His Majesty's Big Day. Body language expert Judy James noted that Kate's demeanor was intentionally subtle to avoid overshadowing the king. According to Judy, Kate's appearance was designed to be as low impact as possible, considering the immense public interest in her return. Judy James, speaking to the mirror, observed, Kate's appearance looked subtle and as low impact as possible, given that the nation, if not the world, has been waiting for this moment to welcome her back. Her choice of attire, particularly the hat with a wide brim, made her appearance discreet, signaling her intent not to upstage the king during his birthday celebrations. Despite her efforts to maintain a low profile, Kate's smile and occasional waves did not go unnoticed. Her upright posture and composed demeanor as she rode to the parade ground conveyed a regal presence. Judy further commented, her smile was still visible in glimpses, and there were a few quick waves, but her upright posture created an enduringly regal impression as they rode to the parade ground. Hours before her appearance, Kate released a heartfelt statement accompanied by a stunning new photo of her outside. In her message, she candidly shared the challenges she has faced during her treatment. I am making good progress, but as anyone going through chemotherapy will know, there are good days and bad days. On those bad days, you feel weak and tired and you have to give in to your body resting. But on the good days, when you feel stronger, you want to make the most of feeling well, she said. Kate added that she has a few more months of treatment remaining. She expressed gratitude for the support she has received and shared how she spends her good days engaging in activities that bring her joy and positivity. On the days I feel well enough, it is a joy to engage with school life, spend personal time on the things that give me energy and positivity, as well as start to do a little work from home, she stated. Princess Kate's return to public life, marked by her thoughtful tribute to King Charles and her candid message about her health journey, has resonated deeply with the public. Her grace and resilience continue to inspire many, as she balances her royal duties with her personal battle against cancer.